What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm just gonna go for a ride up this uh, kind of twisty road for a minute. I'm working some wheelies. Kind of have some fun. It is currently 108 degrees outside right now. So, uh, not the most comfortable time to ride. But I rode yesterday, it was 115. 108, yeah, 115 ish. Um, so, not as hot. Oh, it says 102 right now. Now that we're in the we're in the shade of the neighborhood right here. Um, I finally figured out how to keep my GoPro on. Actually, I'm kind of testing it right now. Um, with this heat, I watched this video of this guy that used this uh, gorilla adhesive tape, and it's supposed to hold up to like 30 pounds, and uh, it's supposed to hold up against really hot and cold weather. Look at that 350Z, that's kind of sick. It's a built drift car right there. Uh, so I rode with my Hero 8 a little earlier today. And it held up really good. Held up well on the freeway. The temperature on my bike said it was 118 degrees outside. Now I'm using my Hero 10 and it weighs a little bit more. But so far so good, knock on wood. Which should be cool because now I don't have to worry about my GoPro staying on. In 100 plus degree weather next week is supposed to be cooler which will be nice it's supposed to be like a high of an 85 or something so much cooler than the 115 it has been steering dampener so I didn't like that that five miles per hour to 95 no way that's insane I don't know if you guys can see that on camera I gotta take a picture of that that's crazy all right anywho <laughs> BMO, there you go. temperature goes up now it says it's 120 outside I wonder if it's because like the sensor is getting some of the uh, the engine heat all right let's try a little knee knocker Oh, 
not good. I watched a video of this guy. I can't remember his uh, his YouTube channel name, but he did a six gear wheelie on an MT-10 going 150 miles per hour. Absolutely nuts. Definitely gonna be my next bike or an R1. But the, the FC09, dude, has such shorter gearing and has almost the same power as an R1. So it's just a nutty bike to ride because it just wants to wheelie in every gear. I thought this thing was nutty, but after watching some videos of guys riding the FC10, holy crap, dude. It'll power wheelie in fourth gear, no problem. And if you got a newer one with the quick shifter, you can shift into sixth gear and just chill out. Who are you? Nobody important. slight downhill up here and I think it goes to the right a little bit but let's try it out look at that shadow it looks sick oh I want to go up there and take a picture kind of maybe on the way back I will I have to do a little bit of a hill climb though Oh yes, pretty cool canyon over here. Let's see how far we can get. I'm not wearing earplugs right now, uh, so my ears are kind of hurting. Uh, maybe I should put earplugs in, huh? I got the ND32 filter on right now, but the sun is getting blocked by a bunch of smoke because we're in California and it's summer, so it's always smoky. So the light isn't as bright as it normally would be, and hopefully the filter isn't too strong, too thick, that the, the camera's doing something funky, but hopefully it's alright. I've never been this far up this road, I usually stop around back there and turn around. Exactly, come to a come to a stop yet, but I'm getting way better. This is pretty cool. See, this is the type of road I would want to ride a super sport on, an R1 or something on. You have these really long sweepers on an R1, it'd be sick. I'm probably gonna pull over, put some earplugs in. Why don't we put some earplugs in, eh? Oh, my tire just kicked up a bunch of gravel, hit me in the back of the head. It's actually so peaceful out here. Thought my noisy ass exhaust echoing off the canyon. It's a pretty good hill to do a knee knocker on. I just always start to slide on the seat.
got so much cooler up here once you get into the trees. It says it's only 97, which I can definitely feel it. This is like comfortable riding weather right now compared to the 115, 118 degree weather I've been riding in. This feels nice. Such a change of scenery. We went from the valley, super hot valley, to all of a sudden beautiful trees out here. Hopefully you guys can hopefully the video is okay. It's like I said the ND32 filter makes everything a little bit darker. This girl needs a wash, so many bugs up on her. Probably not gonna go much farther and probably come over here and turn around. These tires are getting pretty bold. And when I'm just riding around through town without getting them warmed up, I can like just slide around every turn. I just give it throttle when I'm making a right hand turn at like a stoplight or something. It'll just swing the back end down and it feels so sick. Should I try a one-hander? I don't know about that. If I just do it on like a drop back like that. see the valley from here I don't know if you guys can see it anyways because all the trees are blocking but it goes it's the Sun then a ton of smoke and then you can kind of see the other side of that mountain over there that's it fast for the 55 mile per hour turn which is more like an 80 mile per hour turn maybe even more if I knew the turn 100 plus turn oh yeah if a corner has a recommended speed I just know I can probably double it on most occasions on my motorcycle oh yeah here we go same wheelie over and over and over again that's kind of all they do that'll be kind of boring but other than that I think it's pretty cool I love doing wheelies I progressed so much this past year when I got this thing it's almost been a whole year since I bought this girl since I bought this 09 and I've put almost 12,000 miles on her yeah almost 12,000 miles on her I feel 
that came out fast. That was an A mode, not B mode. It's super nice out right now. Oh, that's the spot I wanted to go up to take a picture. <laughs> My poor clutch. Alright, dates well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully the video looks okay. I can actually make videos down to my GoPro stay on my helmet, which is pretty cool. Alright days, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. Love ya. <laughs> this bike has upgraded suspension. It's got stiffer springs and the forks and it's got a stiff, stiffer uh, rear shock. But when I try to do a stop be like that, the suspension is so stiff on the forks it just like, well it usually will just lock the front wheel up and I'll just slide. But I can get it up a tiny bit and then it'll just slam me down. It won't take any of it when I'm slowing down so I'll just go.